Hi, today I'm gonna teach you how to make pumpkin pancakes. First, we're gonna mix together all of the dry ingredients. So what we have here, what I've pre-measured, is two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons plus two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon and a half of salt, two and a half tablespoons of white sugar, a third of a teaspoon of both nutmeg and cinnamon, and a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. So I'm gonna whisk those all together. Be nice so it doesn't get everywhere. So that's ready. So now I'm gonna to mix together all of the liquids, which I've pre-measured. It's two eggs, I whisked it beforehand, a third of a cup of canned pumpkin, which has already been pureed in the can, and a third of a cup of oil, and a cup and a fourth of milk. I'm gonna use the same whisk, just to dust it off. Get the pumpkin going. Make sure all the clumps of the pumpkin are out. It's not that hard, just make sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna incorporate the liquids into the dries. I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time so it doesn't get everywhere. Again, mix it slow at the beginning, otherwise the flour will go flying. Oops, see, there you go. You gotta pay attention to what you're doing. I'm gonna add the rest. Okay, and this looks good. Okay, so I've already heated a skillet. Um, and I've sprayed it with canola oil. And now I'm going to ladle three little pancakes into the skillet. Using a ladle makes things a lot easier. Because it goes right in. You could also do this on a griddle that's been preheated and sprayed. Now when you're baking pancakes, you wanna look for little bubbles that form. And when the little bubbles pop, you know it's time to flip over. It should take about three to five minutes. So they're about done, and you know when they're done because the smoke that comes up after you flip them is gone. So once that happens, you're ready to serve. Serve these with maple syrup and they're delicious. And that's how you make pumpkin pancakes. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see me cook anything else, send us an email at request at or watch any of these other videos.